welcome, lady gents and lady gents and gentle gents. Gentle Ladies gents. and gentle things. Mental, yeah, uh, lent, lentil. Lentil. <laughs> Good fucking start. This is twelve thirteen, episode three, part three, finale three. Episode three, part three. <laughs> episode three, part one. Episode three, part one, and the oh, only wow. part. Oh yeah. So oh, far, yeah. maybe, possibly. Oh, yeah. I am the aforementioned gent of game, and, with and I'm me not. Is Tom? Yeah. Hi, I, Tom. I'm not a gent or a game. No. How are you? I'm good. That's good. How's the oh. Pokemons? It's over there. Yeah, cool. Uh, this is episode three. <laughs> uh, we fought a massive glasses beast of... Oh, wait. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. That's Damn it. Good. That was the best intro ever. But, I mean, we're still recording. Oh, so okay. I mean, we can just cut back into it. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. All right. Anyway. Let's go. Right, turn commentary on. They have so reach and reach floods. They put themselves to pain and profit nothing, and they shall bear the fruits of their labor. In the commentary thing, he comes oh. on. He says he just looked up Bible verses for twelve thirty, and some of them fitted really well. <laughs> Why do you insist on embarrassing me, twelve thirteen? It seems it's becoming a habit for you. Every time I have almost convinced Petrovich of your suitability, you go and spoil everything. The first time, you almost beat Stibbons to death. This time, you spend half an hour running around the food court shooting at nothing. Now he's having second thoughts about sending you on the mission. Well, I've had enough. You're going on that mission whether he likes it or not. Take the tram to the factory floor in Sector A and watch out. They dispatch security droids to recapture you. The secret to dealing with them is to stay in the dark. You should be quite used to that by now. Am I supposed to go... Oh, what... Huh! Whoa! To God, yo. Was it good? Oh. Just, yes. So this is actually a secret, and you get the code when you finish the game, and you come back into this point, you put the code, and you get a secret ending. We'll do that afterwards. It's not worth it, but yeah, sure. Okay, is it zero, 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 zero? No, I can't remember. Oh. I should know it, because I've done it. <laughs> it helped. But also, you actually have to play through the whole game, I think, to get the secret ending. Okay. Oh, let's go on the tram. It's not chicka chicking just yet. See the light? Oh, there we go. Can you do anything? Oh, right. I'm supposed to walk. Yeah, you're supposed to do it. Well for you so far. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? To get out on the roof. Oh, the roof. <laughs> oh, the lights. No. <laughs> Things come up, they get a little warning beat, and then. <laughs> oh, Through a door, foiled. Huh? <laughs> Stand still. You can run on top of the train as well. I think. I think. Ha ha! Nice. Internal lockdown disabled. Ah, oh, well, that was fucking useful. You just disabled the. Please don't tell me I have to start from the start of a train. Probably have to start from here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the game is built that they don't expect you to die very much. Don't expect your face to die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I've taken two hits already. Please, motherfucker. I'm on a train. I'm going down. Insane. I know beats. I know rhymes. 
I know because you mumble all the time. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Drop me a sick bait. I got swagger. I got skill. A motherfucker. I'm dead in the kneel. Ah. I ran myself <laughs> to fucking death. And now I gotta do this all by myself. <sighs> do I get any more of that? <laughs> Stop it! Oh shit. You need all the help you oh damn. Get. I read myself on the tram, motherfucker. Climb up. Climb up. Oh, fucking god, fucking dead. <laughs> fucking just kill yourself already, you stupid, useless piece of shit. You're on the wrong side. <sighs> get, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Get, get the fuck down. Tell me, hey. It's going good so far. Part one. Part one of episode three. Yes, that's what I need to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need to turn it, because that turns it off. See? You turn it on, turn it off. And you want it off. Because I think that means you can go through the door at the other end of this corridor now. You couldn't before. You fucking... I told that you stay... The hitbox stays on the floor until you're actually up onto the next floor. That's a thing that happens. <laughs> you can run, you just gotta watch your, watch your runometer. Oh my stupid <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Alright, you took the three last time, you took one this time. Progress. <laughs> ah. Down. Chicky, chicky, chicky. One. This is the one. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're fine, you're fine. There you go. You please, did it. Don't run much. too much. You did it. And I'm pretty sure there's a shower right after this. Either that or something happens. Or a checkpoint. Oh, you there's a shower. There's a shower. Go! You nailed it. You nailed it. Go to the shower. Go to the shower. Fuck the things. Come back to the thing. Later. The shower. And now you can look at the room around you. <laughs> Just need to revitalize a little bit. A bit after that. What about this? Does the thing go far enough to threaten you if you're near it? Yes, it does. Cloning tube maintenance. Please ensure that during gestation, the cloning tubes are kept at a stable temperature of 20 to 25 degrees. Do not knock or tip cloning tubes. Do not attempt to open cloning tubes until gestation cycle is complete. So, open them? Ah. Uh, maybe not. I think that's more of a, this is what this room is, message. Assessment of Administrator Westbury by Head Physician Carolina Hagen, page 4. Why would you have this assessment oh, so spread over? That's Clone what... farming is a highly lucrative trade. The rich and powerful put down a deposit, and the farm clones them in body with no higher brain functions for use in organ harvesting should the need ever arise. A lot of us were unhappy about it, but the wheels were already in motion. The Tesla Life Orbital was set up, and Westbury was an obvious choice to sit on the station's administrative team along with myself and an assortment of Tesla Life scientists and bureaucrats. I remember Westbury seemed to be the only one who kept his head after the uh, incident. All the rest of us who knew about it were in a state of high emotion. Everyone went through the stages of fear, anger and despair. We felt helpless, without reason to go on. When Westbury announced Project GFG, so maddeningly calm, a lot of us latched onto it as just to have hope. We all went along with it without question. 
Westbury just seems so confident. And we got confident by association. What is Project GFG? What was the incident? Look, there's a bit of shadow what you can hide in and ship. I mean that. that. Yeah, yeah. Just, what you doing? Knee captain. Yes, yes I did. Mildly. Personal log assistant cloning technician Barrufs, day 28. This is getting ridiculous. They cut off all contact with our friends and loved ones down on Earth just because we're doing some kind of contract work for the government? I asked if we should start a new batch of gametes, but the administrator said to just genetically engineer the same gametes we already have, develop the yeah. We already have developing, but a lot of very rich and very influential people pay good money for these clones. Do we just forget about them? If we're lucky, only, only the government will get sued back to Stone Age for this one. So, what do you think's happening? You've got a little minute to sit and chill for a bit. Got a lot of clues, not a lot of answers yet. Uh, they're cloning people um, for organs because people were sick. Yeah. Uh, so the... The wealthy, the rich and wealthy, were wanting to stay alive because yep. they've got infected. So then they're just stating these so they can swap their organs out, basically. But it would appear that the people who they are cloning would also be sick. Uh, that's an interesting thought. Interesting thought. Interesting thoughts. Interesting thoughts. I'm going to take a dump on number two. Two o two. Because he's number two. Mm -hmm. Ha! Nailed it. <laughs> You're alright. You're good. I'm good. I'm been good. through worse. There's uh, a thing, there's a thing. Uh -huh. Picked up an unopened letter. Can I read it? I cannot. No, but that's an unopened letter, so, so well, what's... Oh, there we go. Full of unopened letters just to places to stuff someone's from the mall. Can I throw it on the note? Okay, apparently I'm just going to keep this. So did you read what they were doing with them? They were, they were throwing them in the reactor. Yeah. So they are just... Because of all these people are doomed. Because all these people are clones. I like our letters. <laughs> the way they're using to communicate from space. <laughs> Restricted access. Please find your kidding. ID card to review files. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you at all. Alright, let's go down this way. We haven't been down this way. We haven't. Yeah. Sure. What number those pods are? Ten. The other ones above you. Nine. Do we know a nine? Nine or eight. Nine eleven. Nine. <laughs> when we killed in part one. Oh nine. Nine sixteen. Nine sixteen. Assessment of Administrator Westbury by head physician Caroline O'Hagan, part five. Westbury's biggest flaw is his arrogance. Most of the time he succeeds, and a certain pride is understandable, but when he fails, he takes it badly. I've received psychiatric training as befits my position, and Westbury's actions when the yellow death started breaking out indicated a textbook case of manic depression. The more and more of the children died, he sank further and further into this mood. We should have tried to get him off the project then, I know, but Westbury was our leader. 
and a lot of us need, knew they needed no, a lot of us needed they needed and a lot of us needed there to be someone else in control. We were terrified of taking responsibility. After 11.08 died, I could tell Westbury blamed himself because it was he who had ordered a few more hours of observation on 12.13 to ensure the vaccine was safe. After that, he became almost completely introverted. I saw and heard very little of him till he came round and shot me in the face. And I'm still right Are you fully this. healed? Are you fully healed? Yeah. Okay, are you? Ah! I'm no longer fully healed. Gotta take a shower. You were once a very good man, but then you took an arrow to the knee. Personal log, head cloning technician Vatic, technician Vatic, day 28. Orders have just come down from on high. We are ceasing creation of clones for organ harvesting in order to begin a new government-funded operation called Project GFG. We are now to alter our existing gametes to return their higher brain functions and engineer them to be genetically superhuman with an emphasis on an enhanced immune system and resistance to toxins. Day 41. The children are growing fast, but the administrators insist that we do not halt the accelerated ageing treatment. I find myself wondering why, if the government wants super soldiers, why give them only a decade or so lifespan? Day 116. At, the, at this point, the children have reached the physical age of six years, and they are to be moved to the residential deck to be quartered and educated as would befit their duties. I am somewhat disturbed to learn that they intend to expose the children to various toxins and diseases to test their immunity. I knew cloning was unethical when I first applied for this job, but this is a bit much even for me. Day 250. Westbury just got off the phone, pretty frantic. A virulent disease has broken out amongst the children. I'd like to know what he expects us to do about it. It's up to him and his medical technicians to find a cure. Day 353. Apparently Westbury's assistant deacon sent some kind of memo containing highly classified information around the crew. I was unable to see it before administration deleted it. From what I've gathered from those who have seen it, we haven't actually been working for the government all this time, so who then? Oh. Do like you have something letter. flat and thin? Yay! Yeah, wait, really? Yay! We got the Eater card! I used the letter to get a card out. Yeah, it's just adventure yeah, I games. Don't, I don't need... Ooh. Oh. Should I bother exploring more, or...? Um, I think the ID card does a thing, and then you come back again. But I can't remember. There's there's nowhere that you don't have to go, I think. Like, everywhere is somewhere you have to go at some point. Okay, so I don't I remember think where just the go end. left. I think it's left. Left and then up to the top, remember? Up there, oh, yeah. yeah. So then you have to come back to the lower slots anyway. That guy's died a few times now. That's right. He'll come back. It's as if they're all... They always come back. Are you a clone? Yes. Part 1 of 2. Tesla Life Orbital Cloning Facility, Day 28. Notice of new project. Project Germ-Free Generation. To create humans with highly advanced immune systems with the emphasis on creating high resistance to toxins and radiation. File 2 of 2. Memo to all staff. The code for the lighting control room has been updated to 19885. Please update your rogs. 19... 19885. 19885. What was the code? 19885. 19885. 1985. Yeah, 1985. That's what I said. I'm not sure if I'm May. Fit May 1988. Yeah, what was? Oh, you nearly Running killed yourself. Ah, uh, oh, right. down. Now I think we're gonna go down. Oof. I've done my job. He won't get to this particular row of cloning tubes. Hmm? Yeah. We turn the thing off. Block 2 lighting array, CF deactivated. For once there's a panel, I don't actually have to... Mm. Mm. You don't have to panel the panel. That's why. We just, we just turned off lights yeah. in here. Which makes it actually possible to get through. Huh. I'm not 
What are you talking about? Hmm. Nailed it. I like the fact that their robots can't see in the dark. <laughs> But that's the first time I've actually used that. Yeah. But you should just run. <laughs> it is the first time they've actually used that. But I did mean they didn't have to explain it here. Isn't it like it won't see you when you crouch? Ah. Yeah. No. It was crouched. What kind of camera can't see you when you crouch? That's, that's what it was. Yeah, I know, but that the was tutorial. the tutorial. It's Westbury, and his cameras are shit, obviously. Yeah. Hey. Well, 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 looks like we have a family reunion. Say hello to your dear old mother, 1213. The old girl still has a shine on her. I'm sure, 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 she'd be proud of you. I'm sure she'd be so proud of you, if only she could say so. Once just a clone among 192 other clones, now the last survivor of them all. Do you want to know who you were, then? Or well, who you were cloned from? Who you were supposed to provide nice, fresh organs for before it all went to hell? Hiram Wexer was his name. The Secret Service agent in charge of protecting the President's family. The Commander-in-Chief paid his deposit out of thanks for his years of valued service. That's right, 1213, you were a gift, a perk of the trade, given human form. Well, I could wax nostalgic all day, but I'm afraid we both had matters to attend to. Follow the hallway to Reactor Room C. I'm waiting for you there, and there's someone I want you to meet. <laughs> We're almost at the end, aren't we? We are. It's been a long game. This has been 23 minutes compared to 50 minutes. Final page of the assessment. I'd heard rumours that Westbury might have been doing things to 1213. Unpleasant things. But I did nothing. He clearly needed to blow off steam somehow, and it wasn't like 1213 was really hurt by whatever he was put through, or could even remember it. That sounds like such a terrible attitude, now that I come to write it down, but I kept hoping Westbury would somehow get better, and we'd have someone to follow again. Now we're all just kind of lost. I've started to draft a new action plan with some of the others, and hopefully Westbury can be persuaded to assist at some point. That went well, didn't it? Did. It went really well. They were, they were all happy friend family, fluffy friends. Stay exactly where you are, 1213. I'm not afraid to use this. Have you met Chief Administrator Petrovich, 1213? Meet Chief Administrator Petrovich. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten his voice. I'll tell you that's insane. What's insane is wanting to spend any more time than we need to in this floating tin bucket. Well, here he is, boss. The sole result of a year's work standing before you. Doesn't the fact that he made it this far through all our security arrangements indicate something to you? That maybe he's suitable to go on the mission after all? Good God, is that what this is all about? Well, Stuff. He's so obsessed with getting this mission happening. I just want to get off this goddamn station. I want to eat food that isn't freeze dried. I want to be there that hasn't gone through an oxygen recycler 50,000 times. But you always have to delay. You and all your bureaucrats, you can never do anything now. Delaying is what cost us 1108. Left us with this pathetic specimen as our only hope. What's well, really listen to me. Our oh, year on this station has been stressful for us all. But this is not helping matters. 1213 still needs more assessment. We can't send him on a scouting mission with severe brain damage. Isn't it true he forgets everything he's taught after seven days? But given time, perhaps we could find a way to fix him. Given time? I'm sick to death of hearing about time. You still don't think he's got enough sense about him to suit our purposes? Fine. You stay right there, 1213. I've got to shoot the blue orbs. So what does this look like? Just a 
Now then, 1213, I hope you're ready to show us some of that magic of yours. And you, Petrovic, you can just sit and watch. Pretty sure you're gonna. Yeah, Hang on, if you... you. You don't wanna get hit like that. Can you press the. Oh no, don't worry. I can go and try and do things. Maybe you gotta crouch shoot, because you're a little lower. So you that, uh, I'm in your way for it to go over. Yeah. I like this is the final test. So I'm gonna dodge a massive slow floaty mm. white thing. Oh, slow, slow. Are you, are you unhappy with this final oh. test, Mike? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> did, did you like the last one a lot more? Fucking damn it. Oh, you fucking really. I. Said you wanted a harder challenge. do it. Which is lucky, because I think one more might do you as well. Yeah, yeah you can attract him. Nice. Oh, he's slowed down again. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so, how, what do you think of 12 so far? Uh, the story is good. You're not so keen on the gameplay? The gameplay is okay. Just, it's not quite refined, is it? It's got a no. Little, a couple of... Respawning enemies was annoying. The hitboxes could do well, but yeah. it's free, so I'm not going to argue you with it. And yeah, the story is good. Generally, these games are much more story driven and gameplay driven. Yeah, and, and the ledges time. are a little bit shitty. <laughs> yeah, you've got to sort of. you got to sort of. Oh, no. oh okay. You're not even going to. Interesting. Yes. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. That is a glitch you can exploit. I remember knowing about that. Oh, no. That wasn't a smart move, but whatever. Yes. I jumped, and I missed the ledge, but then I jumped, and I got the ledge. Yeah. Do you want to read what to say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just do that. That's a perfectly legitimate way to do it, because for some reason that happens. I think he mentions it in the commentary, because when you do commentary on, you play through the whole game, and he pops up and says stuff. And now stop it. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's the way we play this game. Oh, no. 
I mean, he still got hurt. So. It's because I didn't do it right. Ugh. You should have paused it. As soon as you get down and the bot's moved over, like the bot's going the other way, so just go roll the way down. Or what? Ran into him. That's fine. I did a save point. You did. Oh, fine. Let's go. Pause. There we go. Oh, and I got the droid as well. Yeah, that's supposed to. There you are, see? He's intelligent, fit, and highly pain resistant. What more assessment do you need? My oh, good whispering. Was that a PC 4500 security droid you destroyed? Do you know I'm also saying, of course? You. What did you say? Whispering, calm down. I didn't mean. How much those things cost? Is that all you have to say? You, you, you fucking bureaucrat! Now what? Uh, he has to like, shake his hand a little bit. Oh god. Oh god, he's dead. He's dead. And there are security guards right outside the door. Well, yeah. I'm going to regret having done that, aren't I? Well, yeah. Get out of here, 12, 13, go. Follow the corridor to the elevator. Don't kill yourself while running. Oh, get killed by the zombies! Hey, look, space elevator. Yeah, elevator to F. Yeah, but. I want one. We still haven't taken 50 odd minutes. No. <laughs> Final boss fight? Are you fucking kidding me, really? Really? <sighs> really? Fuck off. Sure you can see. Yeah. Do I have to kill the entire human civilization? <laughs> In one boss fight. Ah, hello again, 1213. I appreciate I'm probably the last person you expected to hear from right now. I've given security the slip and hold myself up in the old computer room, so I'm, I'm secure for now. The thing is, though, 1213, a stray bullet seems to have launched itself in a very inconvenient place. I can't stop the bleeding. I've demanded they send up a physician, but to be honest, I, I don't think they'll get here in time. And there are things you still have to know, 1213. I hope you'll appreciate having something to read on your trip down to the surface. This is the memo my assistant Deacon forwarded to the entire crew just before he committed suicide. I kept it, because why not? Hopefully you'll understand why now. Understand everything. I've got her. I, I, oh God, I can't see anymore. 1213, listen to me, listen. I just want to say, I'm sorry you had to be born. Junior Administrator Deacon to all staff. I'm sitting at my desk with a gun barrel to my throat, trying to think of a reason not to pull the trigger. My world has rapidly gone insane, and the things on which I relied have been stolen from me and reduced to ashes. I'm sending this memo to the entire crew because you all find out eventually, and I would not wish another to find out in the same manner as I. It was Westbury who finally told me. I had suspected something odd about our situation almost since Project GFG began, but I was only yesterday that I was summoned the nerve that I suffered, and, and, and he told me. And then you read into the thing. Almost everything we've been told about Project GFG was a lie concocted by the board of directors and a small group of people who knew the truth from the beginning. At around day 10 of the Tesla Life Orbital's running time, you all remember that our access to telephones, internet, and all other communication media was suspended. The reason given for this was we were beginning to work on a covert government project that required utmost secrecy. This was an utter fabrication on the part of the Board of Directors. Project GFG was not government-sponsored, but was the sole brainchild of Westbury and the other administrators. day 10 of our operations, some kind of cataclysm took place on the Earth's surface. Judging by the communication blackout, it almost certainly killed most, if not all, 
they are breathing life. The Earth's atmosphere is poisoned now, incapable of supporting human life. The reason why our communication was cut off was because there was no one with whom we could communicate. All the letters we have sent our friends and loved ones over the past year did not leave the station, but met with incineration in the reactor ports. The cause of the disaster is still unknown. All we can do is try to salvage this tragedy, hence Project Germ-Free Generation, or GFG. It was not, it would imply, some immoral attempt on the government's part to breed super soldiers. Administration were trying to create humans with immune systems advanced enough to survive in Earth's new atmosphere, a race of scouts tasked with seeking what remains of human civilization. Had this scheme worked, perhaps we would have been told the truth then, when there was room for a certain optimism in rebuilding our race. But the scheme did not work. And we are all aware the virus we cleverly called Yellow Death killed or irreversibly mutated the entire germ-free generation, save one. And while 1213 could easily survive in a toxic atmosphere, he is too sickly and brain damaged from the virus to be of any real use. There are now not enough resources to begin the project anew, especially not now most of the quarantine decks are infested with mutants. I am not for one drama or hyperbole, but I'm reasonably confident in the statement that I have nothing left to live for now. There is nothing left on Earth but death. There is nothing left up here but a wasted existence, the inevitable diminishment of our supplies, and a lonely end. Some of you may think me a pessimist. Maybe crops could be cultivated on board the ship. Maybe the toxins will eventually dissipate. Maybe some kind of existence could be eked out. But I feel that, as a child of modern-day sensibilities, I would only be a burden to such a society. Between death or continuing on a few tiny slivers of hope, I choose death. In a few minutes I will send this memo and move on into the darkness, and I pray history will forgive my exit, if indeed there will be any more history. It feels like a cliché, and I feel stupid just writing the words, but whatever scores you had to settle, whatever allegiances you owed, they are no more, and the slate is clean. Your destiny is in your own hands now. Do not dwell on the past, concentrate on your uncertain future, and whatever triumphs and falls may await you, I wish you luck. James Deacon, Junior Administrator. What a twist! What a twist indeed. Well, I mean, Whispery was still dead. Yeah. Because he was insane. And that's it. That's episode three. You fired 89 shots. Cool. <laughs> so. So what'd you think? It was good. Aww. It was very good. It was very, very good. So what's the secret end? Did we get a code? No, we didn't get a code. Alright, I think I have the code here, though. Uh, put in one, I think it's one, two... What, seven, two, one. There you go. There you go, shoot the door on the left. This one? The one that should have opened when he did that. Let's try again. One, two, seven, two, one? Yeah. I can't use it anymore. Right. It's not worth it, though. <laughs> Oh, hang on, hang on. That thing. Go go get that thing. Was that there before? No. Golden ticket. And so I think you have to... If you go back to the other room... Uh-huh. No, okay. So you carry... You have to carry this with you then for the rest of the game. Until the end. And it gives you the different ending. Now we're good. Yeah. We're good. I will tell you what it is. <laughs> Well, tell us what it is. Okay, I'll tell everyone what it is. Yeah, okay. sure. So it changes the disaster at the end. Mm -hmm. So instead of like a nuclear disaster or whatever, it's a disaster that turned the entire planet into chocolate. And the image at the end is him walking around in like this chocolate landscape, like gingerbread houses and stuff, and candy canes. Yeah, you're right. That would, that would not have been worth it. That would not have been worth it at all. That's well, it. <laughs> that was 12 first thing. That was really, really good. That yes, was really I good. like it. It's good. It's very good. Very story driven. Yes. Very weird. Very questioning what the fuck is going on. And paid off. I think it's well paced, the story. It's well paced. Very well paced. Very well paced. And you just, you don't really expect what's happening. Like, you, you know something's going on somewhere, but you don't. I did. I did. I did not see the cataclysm of the world coming. There that it is. is. There, there's a picture. Of... I will. I will put this up over the. Yeah, that looks stupid. Yeah. That looks really, really stupid. Okay. Well, if you like this video, 
or this series, please yeah. hit the like button below. The serious series. If you want to subscribe to the Game Gen channel to see other weird and wacky and wonderful games, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment to say how much I suck at playing Total Force in, please, please do, because I always get enjoyment from reading how terrible I am at games. And from the Game Gen and Tom, this is us. Oh, me. Sunny out. <laughs>